man, that is how it's done. Good stuff. All right. Not even a bunch of morons who vandalized their field before the season could stop Hopewell Loudon at home this year. Actually, no one can stop them on the road either. The Chief is 10 and 0 heading into round one of the postseason tonight. Hicksville at Hopewell Loudon. The Chief is getting down, getting dirty, getting ready. 3.30 left in the second quarter. Chief is down 7 nothing, but at the seven yard line when Tyler Tyree picked off by Dean Conley at the goal line, he takes it out. Seth Klepper would later score on a one yard plunge. It is 14 nothing aces. 9.45 in the third, third and seven on the 25. Caleb Johns takes the pitch and untouched. Got some wheels over there. 21 nothing Hicksville, what? Then four minutes later, Justin Miller, the QB keeper, and this is the dagger. Unbelievable. The Chieftains go down for the first time this year. Week 11 final score, 28-7 Hicksville. Up to Michigan now. Bedford at Ann Arbor Pioneer. Coach thinking, come on, Aaron Chester. Come on, let's go for a touchdown right now, Aaron. Aaron back heaving it. He's got a man. Picked off by Pioneer. Mules down 7-0. This time. On a fumble snap, Michael Cosmeter recovers it for the Mules. Things looking good. They capitalize. Tyler Roytek runs in the touchdown. We're tied at seven. But it was all Pioneer after that. And Bedford falls 35 to 10. One score for you in Division 5. Liberty Benton goes to Lima Central Catholic, and they get a win 45-35. All right, not just football, but football today. For that, we head back over to the Ralphie's Bandstand and Andre Savage and the UT Marching Band. You see, it's not a game, Eric Halbert. I mean business when I come out here. I'll deal with you guys in one second in, in my headwear. It's real serious. A little football action. Your girls, your women, I should say, in the semifinals. Let's go. Toledo hosting Buffalo earlier today. Rockets trailing in the first half 1-0. When Kristen Lynn changes that close-range goal, you saw it. We are now tied at one. Everyone is jubilated. I just made up a word. Second half, UT strikes again. Rachel McLeod, the Mac Player of the Year. You saw that busyness from distance. 2-1 Toledo. And then here we go, capping it off 10 minutes later. Nicole Jerzyk, I think. It sounds like it. Add one more for insurance. Rockets win. Coach is happy. You see him blissful. They'll play Western people for the championship on Sunday. 3-1 is your final. You knew once Kristen hit that first one that it was it was going to build and confidence built as the game went on. You know, and the, and the kids are excited and, and looking forward to Sunday. Something we've been looking forward to playing in front of our home crowd and playing against a quality Buffalo team. And we were back at this point last year and we really wanted to show people that we're here for a reason. It feels great. Uh, it's my first time to actually be in a MAC championship game and we're all so excited. Yes, and we're excited too. And so is Mr. Slate from the Mr. Slate Fred Flintstone collection. It's me again. And now I have my brass section. Does anybody here have skills like Mr. Nelson over here who can give me a display really quick? This lady looks like it right here. She's trying to avoid it. Well, you, you still, you have a horn of some type, ma'am. You have something. Can you give us a quick solo? Oh, wait, no, they're calling for this gentleman here. You're the guy? Let's go. Let's get it. Trumpet, man. Let's have it. <laughs> Right, the citizens of Lucas County and Bedrock are proud. Eric Harbert, that's it for the Rockets tonight, buddy. Actually, it's not it for the Rockets, it's it for Andre. And Andre, apparently, the hatch sucking his brain power because the saxophone is not part of the brass. Come on, Dre, you got to learn this, right? All right, we're at halftime here in the Frenzy. When we come back, we look ahead to tomorrow night, but first, back to the Ralphie's Bandstand and the UT Marching Band.